question to both. Uh, why is it so important and fun to get out to regional areas like Seymour? Kate, start with you. Yeah, it's great getting out into the community. Um, we haven't done too much of it, and I think over COVID it, it stopped for a couple of years. But um, to be able to get out into the countryside, it's beautiful uh, seeing all these kids, a couple of Ds jumpers. So it's great to get out here and uh, spread footy across the community. And for me, it just reminds me of what it was like when you were a young fella or a young kid going to school and what you dreamt of to play AFL footy. And it's just a nice reminder that you're in a very fortunate position and to, uh, to be out here and these kids don't often see AFL footballers, so it's always a joy to come out here. And as Kate just touched on, we're starting to see some more kids in these Guernseys now, which is really exciting for the footy club. And I guess proves to us that we're doing some good things at this footy club. It can be harder for uh, players or kids in the country because I think we heard Gourney reference at school, you know, they've got to travel to play games. Like the, it's the logistics of actually forging a career in football can be a bit trickier. Is that, would that be your experience of what it's been like to have people come up through the country? Yeah, I'm from Adelaide, South Australia, so some people call it a, a country big town. country town or a small country town, but <laughs> for me, probably some friends that I've grown up with at the, at the D's who have come from the country, you can see when they get into the hustle and bustle of the city, it can be quite intimidating. So to come out here, it's a breath of fresh air, um, and you appreciate the, the energy that the kids bring, and also the parents were just out of school then, and there was a, a grandparent who had uh, brought his young grandson down just to, to see the AFL footballers wasn't in school but you could just see the joy it brought to the whole family and that's really special to us as professional athletes to to see the impact you can have this far inland in Victoria. Kate, um, just coming off a, an AFLW season, I mean the, AF, the boys are sort of ramping things up, do you, how, how do you sort of reconcile it because you know you're winding down, you're about to go on holidays, the boys are winding up, you know is it time for a bit more realignment, a bit more alignment sorry with, with the seasons? Yeah, I think so. I mean, we're kind of ramping up a little bit uh, now. We've had a couple of months off and, and been able to enjoy our summer, but the girls are starting to come back into the club. Um, we've got a few of our new draft picks down here today, so, uh, yeah, it's really good to be able to connect with the boys and um, start kickstart our training off the off the back of their uh, starting their end season. And you had a fairly decent session this morning, Hibs. What, how was it? How did you find it? Yeah, we're in that part of the, the season or the pre-season now where you're starting to fine-tune, get ready for some practice games, so... The intensity's been high from the jump. Uh, we feel like we're highly energised, really excited for, for the season to start. And that for us is this Sunday against Richmond uh, for our first practice game. So there's a buzz around and it's just an exciting time to be involved in footy. You had the intro last Friday. What did you take away from that? A couple of, a couple of boys put up a bit sore from it. I suppose that's normally the case this time. Yeah, definitely this time of year. You're, you're getting back to used to the, the, the loads of match play. Um, for us, it was just great to, to I guess, play a four-quarter game uh, there's some great, great learnings, and again, just the energy and intensity that the club has shown. Probably for for my time at the footy club, it's something we've really trained from the start of our pre-season. So when you, your games do start, you don't find it's a, a massive jump in intensity, and that for us, we believe, holds us in good stead to, to really start the season well uh, this this Sunday. And there was some nice energy and intensity around Clayton this morning, who was sort of reintroduced into the the main group. What was that like? Yeah, it's fantastic to see Claz back at the footy club. He integrated into some main drills today, which is just fantastic to see. Um, he's moving really well, so it's a uh, really positive for, for Clary, for the football club, and we're really excited to have him back in and yeah, always there to support him as well. Do you take these kind of opportunities as a, a sort of further bonding for the team? I know you've got Knight and a winery, it's not too bad. Yeah, there won't be any wine getting drunk there, but it's, it is a nice place to, to get together and... I guess every year you, you start from scratch in a way with your culture and you bring in new people. So we've got three young draftees, three players that we've brought in through free agency and trade. So it's always an opportunity to uh, show them how we, we handle ourselves in, in times like this um, out in the public and also internally what we stand for as a club. And it's no different for the AFLW program. As Kate touched on, there's a few new draftees here and the ability to bring everyone under the same umbrella at the Melbourne Footy Club is really important to us. And, this just provides another opportunity to do that. How important is a clean slate now, given you know, what happened in finals last year? For the, for the boys to reset you know, that mentality? Yeah, it's a, uh, it's, it's a feeling you never forget though, Clint. It's something that continues to drive this, this group, especially when you, you don't have the success um, in a final series. I continually remind myself and um, the leaders within this club, the footy club's in a great spot though. Although we're not happy with how we ended last year, we, we know we're building to something um, and at the, at the start of a new year, like I said, you've just got to look at it uh, as the, the first phase of a season, which is our, our pracky games. We get these right, 
then you start the, the season with uh, a high emphasis, high emphasis on starting well, and you get the confidence up, and from there anything can happen. You build enjoyment, confidence, and the game just flows from there. How is the whole opening round structure sitting with you? Opening round, round one, you know whatever they've decided to go with this year. Different. Yeah, from from our perspective, very fortunate to be the first game of the the 20, 2024 season. So I'll never knock that back. To be in Sydney, a hostile environment, I'm sure. It excites me, it excites the group. Um, I love playing in those environments and yeah, we'll be ready.